What's up guys, hope you all are doing great. In this video right here, we'll be creating a screen sharing application with Python. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, I release content like this weekly. So yeah, join the community. And you know what, let's get started. The first thing you can see right here, I'm using PyCharm for this project right here. That's my idea I'm using. You can use whatever idea you want, but yeah, PyCharm is the idea I'm using. And I already have a project. If you want to create a project, you just click on files and then you click on new project. I already have a project, so I'm not going to click on that. But now the next thing I have to do after creating a project is I need to actually create a Python file. So you go to your project and you right click and yeah, so you go to your project, you right click and you click on this new right here. And then you can see right here we have Python file. And I'm just going to call this server.py. Now the module we're going to be using that will actually help us create this screen sharing application is Vidstream. And Vidstream uses dependencies like OpenCV. It also uses Pi Audio and also uses Pi Auto GUI. So yeah, so it's a really cool module. And the way we'll install it, we we'll just go right here. Now I'll leave a link down in the description below. So the link will be to this web page. And all you need to do is just copy this right here. And when you copy it, you go to your terminal right here and you paste it. So when you paste it, then you will have Vidstream installed. So I'll just paste it right here. And we can see here everything is installed in Pi Audio, OpenCV, yeah, and everything that we'll need to actually create this cool application. Now you can see right here that I got an error. And when this happens, because I always get in the comments or I get error when I'm trying to install the module. When this happens, all you need to do is you go to file and in your file, you click on settings and then you go to your project interpreter. What you need to do is you need to change this project interpreter from this right here, because you can see this show screen. This is the name of my project. You change it from that to this right here. So now that's done. And when that is done, you can just click right here on this plus and you write right here vidstream. And you can see we have vidstream right here. So you just click on it and you click on install package. And you just click on install package right here and you see that everything is working out well. We're installing it and you can see right now we have a successful installation. So vidstream installed successfully. So now that's great. Everything is working out perfectly. And after we install a module, what we need to do next is we need to import it. So we'll say from Vidstream, import streaming server. Yeah, so we go to our file, you click on setting and project interpreter. Change it to this because this is what it was before. And the mistake I made is I didn't click OK. So you should click OK. Yeah, we can continue right now. So I think this was really good just to show you the different ways you actually solve this whole fact that oh your module is not installing properly it was a nice real life experience of actually what happens when you're trying to install a module and it's not working that well now let's get to the next part we need to import treading and this is just because we'll be using we'll be sharing and we need to import this treading to actually help us be able to do two things at the same time so that's why we're importing threading so now before we continue the code i just want to explain something that whenever you host something, you need to specify your private IP address and you need to find your IP address. And the way we'll find our IP address, we'll do, it, we'll do IP config, but we won't do it right here. You just copy it right here and you go to your terminal. And yeah, just right here in your terminal, you click on IP, you paste it right here in your terminal, you'll get yours. And you also need to remember that whenever you host something, you want to stick it to the local IP address. And whenever you connect to something, you need to, whenever, and when I say something, I mean another computer, 
in this case that we're doing right here, we need to specify the public IP address. So for example, when I run this streaming service on a server, what I want to specify is the local IP address for hosting. And I want to specify the public IP address of that particular server in order for other computers to actually connect to it. So this is something you need to keep in mind. And yeah, now we just create a host. I will set that equal to streaming server. And right here we'll put our put our yeah our IP address. And after that we'll just put 8080. Now that we've done that, now what we need to do next is we'll create a variable called ch. I'll set that equal to threading dot thread with a capital T. And inside here, we'll actually put a target. And our target is going to be the host dot, and then we say start the server. We're referencing this function, so that's why we need to remove this brackets right here. And then we say th dot start. In this case, we're calling it. We're calling the start function. Now we need to specify a scenario where whenever we want to quit our server, we can just go to the console and type stop and then everything would be stopped. So yeah, that's what we're doing next. Because as you can see here, we're running this in a thread, so we need to stop it at any time. And that's the whole point of this. And we'll use a loop, we'll say while input. And then we do it like this is not equal to stop continue so it will always run until input is equal to stop that's what we just said right here and now that we've done that we just say host dot stop server not start server stop server Okay, so we're done with the server. Now let's create another Python file, and this will be the client. We'll come right here, go to our project, we'll right click on new, and then Python file, we'll call this client. You can see in our server that we have from vStream import streaming server. For the client, what we'll do is we'll say from vStream import screen and this is capital screen share client so that's what we're importing for the client and after that we do that we'll say sender is equal to the capital screen share client and then we do the same thing we put the ip and we put the 8080 So we just paste that right there. And when we're done, we just say sender dot start stream. Now that's basically all. And the thing is, I wish I had another computer. I have, I have another computer, but I couldn't find the charger because I actually wanted to show you this with two computers actually streaming at the same time. But for sure, try it yourself. And if it's working, put it down in the comments below. If it's not working, put it down in the comments below too. And I'll for sure help you out with that. And the way I'm going to show you this is I'm going to run one client in PyCharm and then the other client, I'll run it in our command line. So what we do first is we run the server. So now we run the client. And we can see our client right here. You can see the IP, our IP address is right there. And now we go to our project. Now we go to our project, you right click on your project and then you click on show in Explorer. After that, you click on screen. And what we do next is to get our command line, you just click on this place right here and you put CMD. You can see that it's the same directory as our screen sharing application. So what we we'll do next is we just say client.py to actually run the client. And yeah, we have both of them right now. You can see the, uh, the second one right here.
So you can see both right here. And they're both sharing each other's screen. In this case, it's one screen, but as I said earlier, try it with yours and you'll see for sure it's going to work out. And what we need to do next is if we want to quit it, you just click on Q. I can see one of them is gone. And the second one, we go to server and we just type stop. And now everything is off and everything has stopped. So that's the cool thing about what we just did right here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and let me know if yours is working out. If it's not, just put it in the comments below and I will answer you and help you out with that. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.